Hey there, everyone. Jim here with Fantasy for the Ages, the father of the father-son show where we talk about fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy things we enjoy. Today, I'm here to bring a book blast episode to you on a book I'm quite excited to talk about, We Break Immortals, book one of the Advent Lumina Cycle by Thomas Howard Riley. If you enjoy this episode, be sure to like it down below. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel and tell all your friends where they can find us. Other ways to get in touch with us are all down there in the show notes. Be sure to check it out and give us a comment along the way and let us know what you think of my thoughts today. Again, I'm, I'm really eager to talk about this book because, man, when I started out with this book, I almost quit reading it. And boy, that would have been a mistake. I did make it through. I really enjoyed it. And in prepping for this short episode, I decided I should learn a little bit more about this author. This is the first book I'd read by Thomas Howard Riley. So I went to his website. I wish I'd checked that out earlier because it actually prepped me really well for the content I experienced in the book. Again, I read the book without that prepping. It would have been good to know this ahead of time. But I'm helping you out. If you have not read this book yet, here's your prep. By the way, this is a spoiler light episode. I'm going to talk generally about this book, but I will not ruin the plot for anybody. So this is great for you if you haven't read it yet. If you already read We Break Immortals and just want to see what I think, listen on and let me know if my thoughts align with yours. I'd love to hear from you. Riley is quite blunt about his style, his approach to writing in his website. Here's a quote that I absolutely love. I am a writer of rated R epic and dark fantasy sagas, where characters are dirty and flawed, the outlook hopeful, the violence brutal, the hard magic systems plentiful, the world building robust, the romance disinclined to fade to black, and the adventures are equal parts quirky and terrifying. This is a true and accurate saying, as played out very well in this book. Now, Riley, he's a self-published author with all of his current books, and including this one, occurring in a place he's created called Lumina World. So when he says he implements robust world building, I can't argue with that. He keeps adding more to this world every time he writes. And the world we see in We Break Immortals shows real depth and complexity. And I'm actually interested now in reading more of his books from Lumina World, I want to experience more of this place. Well done, Riley. The Advent Lumina cycle won't help me out here yet because We Break Immortals is book one. It came out right at the end of 2021 and we've yet to see a sequel. And then there's a newer book that came out December 22, I believe it's a standalone, called The Monsters We Feed. Again, a novel of Lumina World. I'm adding to my TBR. I do want to emphasize that Riley is not kidding when he describes himself as a writer of rated R epic and dark fantasy sagas. This novel was dirty, violent, and at times quite ugly. Early on in particular, I was disgusted with the thoughts and behavior of one character in particular in regards to sex. Now, I'm no prude, but both this character's sexual behavior and the way he thinks of women in general felt really over the top. I personally believe Riley did overdo it a bit with this. But that said, the quality of the story from about 33% on caused me to let go of my distaste and just enjoy an amazing story. And even the somewhat redeeming actions of that particular character. Not in regards to sex, oh, he still sucks in that regard. But he does have other amazing qualities. Something I appreciated about this novel was the skill with which Riley introduced us to two distinct parallel plots with totally different groups of characters that eventually merge into one story in a very satisfying way. It was very well done. It was realistic and just a pleasure. I really enjoyed it. I loved how it came together. There are distinct elements of grimdark in this novel. No one is safe. Many characters die, most in graphic and quite gory ways. And this includes some of the biggest, most significant characters. Thomas Howard Riley laughs in the face of plot armor. But the best aspect of this story may be the hard magic system. 
It's fantastic. And it's quite unique. I haven't come across anything quite like it yet. It's a beautiful blend of science and the arcane. I loved, loved, loved it. Another author known for hard magic systems, you might have heard of him, is Brandon Sanderson. Riley's magic system is to Sanderson's type as crack cocaine is to coffee. They're both drugs, but one is quite a bit more extreme and hardcore than the other. I had this book on my TBR since soon after it came out. I'd heard the buzz sounded like something I might like. I finally read it due to a challenge from my friend Spencer over at the Fantasy Files podcast. Spencer, you were right to make me move this up to the top of my TBR. And for those of you watching this now, if you haven't read it, well, if you can stomach some depravity, some over-the-top graphic kills, and an intense action ride of a novel, you should move this to the top of your TBR as well. That said, if Brandon Sanderson is your favorite author in the whole world, you may want to skip this book. But if you lean more towards George R. R. Martin and Joe Abercrombie, bring it on. Wait no longer. This book is calling your name. That's what I've got for you. Again, like the episode, please. Hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.